In today's video, we're looking at the Sony FDR-AX53. This camera was introduced in 2016. It features 4K resolution. Before opening the box to see what's inside, I'm going to switch my Samsung camera over to 4K or Ultra HD. Now, despite this being introduced many years ago, uh, they're in short supply and they're more expensive than when they originally were sold. We have a way of getting a prepaid visa, but it looks like this expired March of 21. We have accessories that you can look at. Then we have a warranty guide, a manual in multiple languages, uh, information on the battery, an English manual, not, not very thick. There's also stuff online that you can get. And then inside, what do we have here? We have a HDMI cord. We have a USB to a micro USB. We have a power cord, non-polarized, and that probably goes to what? The adapter that plugs into the camera. So you don't get an individual charger for the battery, which is buried in here. Here's the battery. So, um, they don't have something that you, you know, slide into to charge this. This basically has to sit in the camera in order to be charged. There are, of course, accessories that you can buy where you can charge this off camera. And now we get to the physical camera. And let's move this cardboard out of the way. Voila, here is the Sony. It has a 20 times optical, which is really nice. A shutter that closes in front to protect the lens. Built-in microphone. Uh, button here, manual. When you push that button, you can actually turn this ring so that you can change uh, whether you wanna operate the aperture, the focus, the zoom, Coming along the side, there's our 4K symbol. This opens up, it's a viewfinder that can flip all the way to the other side. Anytime you open this up, the unit will power on. Inside we have a place for the SD card. So that slots into there, then closes off. We have a place here for the HDMI cable. During 4K shooting, there is no HDMI output. Next to that is a standby power button. So again, when you open this, it turns on. If you pull this viewfinder, it also turns on, but this just puts it in a standby mode. Then you have night shot. If you want to shoot stuff at night, there's a little infrared light that projects from the front. We have playback mode. So you've shot something, you want to watch it. There's a button for that. Up on top, there's a button here that allows you to attenuate the audio from the person that's operating the camera. So if you're back here and you like talking or giving instructions, supposedly that will cancel out your voice so that we don't hear the camera operator talking. Uh, we'll give that a test. This is a test of the noise canceling capability of the microphone. I am now behind the microphone in the operator position and it should be canceling my voice. Now I'm towards the front of the lens and you should be able to hear me clearly. A built-in speaker allows you to monitor playback and can be adjusted from the menu. Battery goes back here, it slides up. 
you're not stuck with just this small battery. There are optional other batteries that you can get that have larger capacity. We have a viewfinder that you can look through. You just pull out, it goes up. One of the nice things about this is that on the side here, you can actually set focus so that uh, if you're nearsighted or farsighted, this, that'll help you out. Up on top, if you want, you can take stills. I guess I could take stills as reference shots for stuff, but this would not be the camera I would use to take still pictures with. Um, then you have a rocker for going wide or telephoto with the lens. Coming around to the right hand side, we have uh, an indicator that lets you know when the unit is charging and the power's on. Then you have a start stop button. Below that is a little door that opens down. This will probably break off at some point. It's just, it really should come all the way down or be held by something, but it opens up. That's where you plug in your power. You can either run the camera with external power or you can charge the battery. Over on the right hand side, there's a slide drawer and there it will let you plug in the multi-cable and you can also plug your microphone in there. And then we have for holding our grip here and this can be adjusted. It's got a little hoop and loop for that. Coming towards the front of the camera, there's a place here, another little hidden door that'll probably break off. And this hidden door holds the headphone jack. So you can plug in a little uh, mini plug. Then we come around to the front. There'll be a tally for when you're recording. And this is where the infrared light will emit from. And that concludes, oh, oh, I guess there's one more thing. If you want to mount this on a tripod, there's the threads for it. Unfortunately, they're towards the front of the camera as opposed to being in the middle. Uh, so that creates an odd balance. That's all the external features for this device. And we'll take a closer look. But the first thing we're going to have to do is put in the battery and charge them. To mount the battery, we get the side with the pins going up. You'll see pins on the camera itself. And there's some notches. You get almost to the top. And then it should just go in and lock into place to release. You pull on this switch and you pull the battery down and it releases. And again, just slightly below the top and it should catch. And then it locks into place. And now we're ready to open our little DC compartment, grab our charging cable, which only fits one way. There's a little arrow right there, and that goes up and it goes in, and then you'll get power indication that the unit is charging. Now, let's see if we can answer our first basic question. Can we power the unit and charge at the same time? And it looks like we're just powering the camera and not charging because it's gone green. It's not flashing yellow and green. So at this point, we can start configuring the camera and we get to choose the language. It's a touch screen. So once you pick your language, you hit next. Then we pick the region of the country we're in so we can set the time. So it'll automatically timestamp your files. We're gonna pick East Coast. And there's no daylight savings at the moment because we're in winter, so that's off. And then we're gonna set how we want the year, month, and day to display. And we're gonna go with the English version on that. And then you just continue following the prompts until you've filled in the date and time information. When you finish with date and time, it gives you a prompt for downloading software for your smartphone or for your computer, QRT code, actual web address. 
And now we're looking through the camera. Various things come up on the screen. We'll go through each one of those shortly. I uh, just want you to know that anytime the camera's on, you can see that the lens is exposed. And you may notice that when I go like this, there's a lag because there's a gimbal, a five axis gimbal inside this, which will supposedly smooth out the shots. Here's the initial main screen. And one of the things you're gonna do is go to menu, setup, and scroll up and down until you get to version. And then you wanna make sure that you're on version 1.02. That's the latest version that Sony has for this camera. Ours came correct with the correct firmware already installed. So that's not an issue. And you can hit the X, hit the X again, and that takes you out to the main screen. This concludes the unboxing and initial setup of the Sony FDR AX53. If you'd like to learn more about formatting the media card, what the modes are with the adjustment ring, and looking at some sample footage from this camera, click on the link provided or down in the description. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching.